septic tank TV with another live broadcast. And I'm answering the question, can you drive over a septic tank? That's a good question. God, these questions are amazing, right? So, yes, all right, I'm a terrible artist. That's supposed to be a car. I know it looks like a 70s limousine or something like that, but I can't draw, right? Anyway, look, you get the point. It's driving over a septic tank and it's about to drive over the soak away, right? So can you drive over a septic tank? Well, by drive, I mean, can you drive over with a car? Can you drive over with a motorbike, with a tractor, with a Land Rover, four by four? Yes or no? Well, the simple answer is no. All right, you can't drive over a septic tank in a car. You, you probably, people do drive over their septic tank in a car, but there's lots of horror stories on the internet where people have actually, their car has fallen into the septic tank. Why? Because they're not designed. I mean, a car is what, one, two, three, about two, three or four tons, and that's a car, Land Rover, maybe five, six tons. Man, alive, a tractor, 10 tons. So look, these can't withstand very much weight at all all right so but i'm going to show you how you can drive over a septic tank are you ready for this right so let's say you've bought a septic tank and you want to put it under your driveway right all right so the secret what a lot of builders and people do they put a concrete pad a concrete pad so if i just get my board rubber here and show you look all right so let me just show you this okay so let me just get rid of the pipe work for a second. So by concrete pad, I mean like a base. So they put a pad all the way on top, like so. All right, now, depending on the ground or whatever, so these, these pads, concrete pads can be like, you know, six inches thick, half a foot thick, something like that. They may even have reinforced iron, you know, kind of that crossed, kind of girding inside not girders but it's like mesh isn't it but thick steel mesh inside the concrete and what that actually does that actually allows the car to display the weight over the um area of the pad so instead of bearing down on the septic tank the actual concrete pad now takes the main force of the weight <clears throat> and that's how builders and everyone get around that regarding the soak away the only way you can do it because i mean let's face it most soak away pipes have just got plastic and most soak aways have just got plastic pipes in right so the only way to do it is to put something like the septic tank soak away crates in which have a 20 ton bearing load so you can put those under driveways and you can literally drive over them with a tractor or even a sherman tank right so can you drive over a septic tank? No, you can't. Even if you concrete them in, you can't because it'll just crush the neck and the lid. No, man. But as I said, lots of people put these concrete pads over the top. So you've got your septic tank. And then in between the septic tank and the concrete pad, you've got soil. And then on top of the soil, you've got like quite a thick concrete pad to displace the weight. And you can actually said, like I said, use septic tank soak away crates, right, for the soak away. And they've naturally got a 20 ton bearing load. So the um, <clears throat> the car or the tractor won't crush it. So there you go. I hope that's helped you. So can you drive over a septic tank? Yes. In most cases, if you put a concrete pad over the septic tank, um, you know, if in doubt, contact your local builder, right? I'm, I'm saying that lots of people do it and it does work for lots of people. I'm not saying 100% it'll work in your instance, but that is one workaround, okay? Want to drive over your soak away? Get some septic tank soak away crates. So there you go. Hope that's answered your questions. If you want any more free help and advice, and just go to septictank.co.uk. Give me a ring. I love helping people for free. And, uh, you know, I I'm waiting for your call and I look forward to speaking to you soon.